so then they moved on uh, and they and they continued to talk to Warren uh, and uh, and she said Trump created the immigration problem no he didn't the immigration problem has been around for a couple different fucking presidencies what what what, what the fuck are you talking about it was a problem under fucking Daddy Bush. It was a problem under Clinton. It was a problem under Bush too, and it was a problem under Obama. And it remains to be a problem under Trump. Is he didn't fucking make this problem? Like there were there was a a, a nonpartisan group of eight uh, in two thousand. When was this? Two thousand ten. I remember two thousand ten. Uh, four Republicans, four Democrats that were talking about like extensive comprehensive immigration reform and we never got anywhere with that because because they were trying to get the republicans were trying to get uh, the four uh, uh to to basically you know close the borders and be like oh we need to put you know uh, uh, basically making the uh, the wall argument and uh and saying that we need armed guards uh and pushing for ice to, to be expanded, which again, 2009, that's the Obama administration, that's when ICE was put into place, and the Democrats were talking about, like, open borders, which is not the fucking way you discuss the immigration problem. This is a administrative issue where a lot of people don't understand the process, they don't know what to do, and when, when their visas run out, uh, they're still here because they don't want to leave, and they don't really tell the government because they don't, they're, they're afraid that they're going to get kicked out. That's the fucking immigration problem. And yes, are there people crossing the border in Texas and Arizona and all that stuff? Yeah, that's still a, that's still an issue. But let's explore why that's an issue. Most of the people that are coming through from the southern border are coming through to escape violence. Um, there's probably some people that are trying to traffic drugs through the United States, which once again would be solved if you legalize marijuana, right? Like those people won't be trying to traffic drugs, but rather try to be more enterprising about it like try to join uh, the labor force with it, right? And then you can have a bunch of fucking Mexican people come in and be like, hey, help us grow our weed. It seems like you guys know what the fuck you're doing with it. Um, But like Latin America and Central America has been fucked with for so long thanks to to U.S. interventionism uh, that that these people have to leave. And then whenever there is U.S. interventionism, if there's like a leader, and we're seeing this with Venezuela and uh, I believe with, with Bolivia and everything, is you, you see the United States put economic sanctions, and who does the economic sanctions hurt in any, any capacity? The people. Middle and lower class people of any country that gets an economic sanction put on them are the ones that get hurt. Right, and then you, and then you saw what was happening with there, where the USAID, revealed by the Gray Zone Project, they were they were funding the opposition, they were funding Juan Guaido, and they were funding all the propaganda that was coming out uh, uh, about uh, the, uh, the the Venezuelan president Nicolas Maduro, who was like, "Yo, I'm just trying to help my people," and they're like, "Nah, dude, we're just gonna not." give you access to billions of dollars that's legally yours we're just not going to give you access to it also until you until you uh, come off uh the presidency and uh and then we just put this random guy that we've been grooming for 10 years the united states supports all that and and when things get bad it's because of the united states sanctions why the economy of these countries don't work out very well and these people have to come in and try to sneak into the country to be like, hey, we hope that we can fucking help our family here because it seems like you guys fucked us over. Maybe if we come here, you guys won't fuck us over. Nah, they'll still fuck you over. Or it's like, well, we got to go through the United States to get to Canada where they probably won't fuck us over. <laughs> Militarism doesn't stop any of the problems at the border uh but people have to right like we we have to come up with a better idea and you and you still see people that are trying to help people at the border that are crossing the border with getting them water and all that sort of stuff and they're getting arrested there's a guy that's in a lawsuit right now that's getting arrested for giving people water just like dude that's just that's just like basic humanity more than anything that's just basic fucking humanity you know 
Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content that was discussed and the, and the type of humor that you saw in this video, then you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy show. I've got live shows coming up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Columbia, South Carolina, New York City, Philadelphia. I'm going to be on tour uh, in, in a whole bunch of places uh, at the end of 2019 and into 2020. Go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com for my entire tour schedule. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Check out my entire tour schedule, get your tickets there, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Thanks again.